Indian Foreign Minister Subramanyam Jaishankar rebutted US President Joe Biden's recent statement regarding the impact of xenophobia on India's economic progress. According to the Economic Times, Jaishankar addressed the issue during a round table event, asserting that India's economy remains robust and emphasizing its historical openness as a society. Well, our economy is not faltering. to you know india has always india has been a very unique country i would say actually in the history of the world uh, that it's been a society which has been very open uh, you know different people uh, from uh, uh, different societies particularly people in trouble have uh, come to india that's why we have the caa so which is to open up doors for people who are in trouble so so i i quite see the point i think we should be open to people who uh, who have the need to come to india who have a claim to come to india uh, so that would jai shankar highlighted initiatives such as the citizenship amendment act aimed at facilitating the entry of individuals seeking refuge from neighboring countries he emphasized india's willingness to welcome those with legitimate claims to citizenship president biden's remarks made earlier in the week at a fundraising event for his 2024 re-election campaign attributed economic growth in the US to its welcoming stance towards immigrants he identified xenophobia as a hindrance to economic development in several asian nations including china japan and india you cannot succeed as a country if you leave more than half of your brain power on the sidelines not a joke not not a joke look what's going on Look what's going on in Japan. Japan is in a position where traditionally women are as well educated as men, but the tradition was once they had a child they were to drop out of the job market. Well, I spent a lot of time with President Abe as vice president, and guess what? There's called Abe economic Abe economics to talking about it, we call it. And that is there's an entire move because they are xenophobic because they don't want to invite other people from outside their country to come in and make up the workforce. They have fewer workers than they have a need for workers. And so what they've done is they've decided to encourage women to stay in the job market. The International Monetary Fund recently projected a slowdown in economic growth for Asia's largest economies in 2024. while forecasting a modest increase in the US economy analysts suggest that the influx of migrants has contributed to the expansion of the US labor force thereby bolstering economic prospects